lovelies, what do you think of my new look? By the title of the video, the subject of the video, and the fact that this is not applied properly, you can guess that this is not my real hair. Uh, but I was sent this wig by Uniwigs so that I could transform it into something else, uh, which I am scared to do. This is a full lace human hair wig and uh, I'm going to dye it and style it and basically try to make it look like a cotton candy dream, which I'm exci excited to do, but again, I'm, I'm afraid to do anything in case I mess it up. But right now, I'm not actually planning on cutting it, so hopefully it won't get too messed up. So full lace means that instead of just having a bit of lace around the front, it actually has lace that goes the entire way around. I still haven't trimmed it all the way around. Um, I'll have some footage of what it looked like before I trimmed the lace that was around the front and such. Uh, but the lace goes the whole way around so you can actually wear it like your own hair and wear it up and you won't be able to tell, well, if you, <laughs> if it's applied properly, hopefully you shouldn't be able to tell that it's not your real hair. Uh, so I don't really have any experience with wigs, um, beyond sort of like really cheap bad cosplay wigs and beyond that really cheap like costume store wigs. Uh, this is my first sort of experience trying to do anything with like a really good wig and definitely with human hair. And also the benefits of human hair is I can dye it and style it and everything the way I would my own hair, which is really, really cool. So the plans are for one, I think, uh, again, I'm not a wig professional by any means. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos to get an idea of what I'm doing, um, but I'm not an expert. I have no experience with wigs. I'm not claiming to be a professional and if I don't do things perfectly, because I know people take their wigs real- Oh dear, my camera's breaking. I know people take their wigs really, really seriously. Um, so if I'm not doing something perfectly, I'm sorry, but it's okay because it's just for me. I'm never going to be like a professional wig stylist selling these or anything. So if I bugger it up a little bit, like, don't crucify me, I'm sorry. So I'm going to pop this off, pop it on the stand, and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so this is what we have. So as I said, I have trimmed it up here a bit. It's a bit hard, I was trying to pin this down to the mannequin head, but it is difficult because the um, cap on this is a lot bigger than my mannequin head. I did ask for a large cap because I have a lot of hair that I have to fit under this. Um, I don't know if I have a big head as well, I may do. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I've trimmed a little bit at the front. Um, I don't know if I'll trim any more, but one thing that I need to do for sure is to, it's hard to see, but there's like sort of little wispy short baby hairs right in the very front here. And these are a pain in the ass. I cannot do anything with them. They won't sit anywhere I put them and they tend to get in my eyes and they're just, they're so far proving annoying. So I think I'm actually going to pluck these and just sort of redo the hairline a little bit myself by taking some of these out and just leaving more of the long hair. And as I say, if you kind of come around to the back here, I haven't trimmed anything right at the back yet, but there is lace the entire way around. And this wig is like super nice and soft feeling, like I love running my hands foot through it. I was like standing like brushing it the other day and it felt like a real person. And I was like, I feel like I'm like brushing my friend's hair or something. <laughs> it was like, it was oddly comforting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is like really, really nice and silky and soft. It definitely feels like things should go well with it, so I am excited. So I will show you the inside here. So this is the inside of the wig. So we have two little combs in the front, one comb in the back, and then two like snappy combs on the sides here. So there's plenty to secure it the entire way around your head. And I don't know a lot about wigs, so I don't know <laughs> what to tell you about the inside of this, but you can see the entire thing is less, which means basically that you can part it absolutely any way, and uh, it'll still look like real hair. So it doesn't have like certain parts that you can't lift up because you'll see like wefts sewn in or anything. Like every single hair has its own place, like a scalp. So you can tie parts of it up, you can tie all of it up, you can split it to one side or the other, or whatever you want to do, which is really, really cool, I think. Again, don't know a lot about wigs, but I think that is pretty amazing, considering I'm only used to the bad party wigs. <laughs> so I am going to pluck some of these little hairs out, and then I think I'm going to wash and tone it, and then uh, we can see about starting to actually dye it and then style it, which I'm excited for. I just want to look like a cotton candy cloud. Although I have kind of grown, grown very attached to the blonde, and now I'm kind of sad that I'll be changing it. I kind of want another one now just to keep like this so that I can just like 
have long floaty blonde hair as well, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, just really quickly, I uh, put some tights over the mannequin head so now you can actually see what I was talking about. So this is what I'm working on plucking out at the minute, I've kind of done a few. Uh, but yeah, these little floofy hairs here are just causing all sorts of bother, so I'm just going to slowly be plucking these out which is a long process, but I'm too afraid to try to pull them out all at once or something in case I absolutely ruin everything. So I'm just slowly getting rid of the little floof hairs and kind of reworking the hairline a little bit. Okay, there we go. So there are still like some short hairs, but they're the ones that kind of lie flat with the wig a bit more. I just got rid of all the ones that were just like, I know I probably could have like hairsprayed them back and stuff, but overall I just find them annoying and I thought the hairline could be taken back just an itty bit anyway. So I just got rid of all the little hairs that refused to cooperate with what I was trying to do. And uh, this is what we're left with. So for diluting my hair dyes, I just use any basic white colored conditioner. And then I just add a tiny bit and mix it up until it looks about right. This time around, I actually probably could have gone a little bit darker, but I'd rather not use enough than use too much because I can always add more. So I ended up having to dye a couple of times, but it was okay. But this is the one I did for the first round. It did get a nice color, just not quite enough. Sorry for my voice, I am so unwell right now. <laughs> And I just applied it layer by layer. Okay, so after two and a half times of dyeing it, this is where we're at. It's definitely not perfect. It's not exactly where I would want it to be, but it's enough where I am like happy enough with it to go ahead. I don't have the patience anymore. Uh, the top just would not take the dye for some reason. Like after two dyes, it was still big chunks of blonde. So I ended up putting the dye on one last time, just on the very top here and leaving it on for a lot longer. I think it was on for about four hours. So this actually ended up going from not going pink at all to going a little bit too pink, which bugs me, but I could probably fade it if I washed it a bunch of times, but I've just <laughs> I ran out of patience and it's like acceptable enough. So we are going to go ahead with the actual styling. So what I'm going to do is crimp the entire thing uh, I'm just going to sit and do that while I'm streaming, which is why I've got the green screen and stuff set up behind me. So I'm going to crimp all of it, get it really big and floofy, and then I'm going to braid it and leave it in those braids for a couple of days to extra floof it. And hopefully we should have something that basically looks like a cotton candy cloud. Okay, so what I did then for the last stage is braided all the floofy hair up except for a little bit in the front that I don't want to be quite as crazy curly just so it will lie a little flatter like bangs and I pinned that back there to try to get to hold its shape. So it's been done in these braids for about a week now, <laughs> so it should really hold the shape, plus I've just been busy. But <laughs> the longer I can put it in these, generally, the better it'll hold this kind of shape. Uh, she's not looking too cute here, so let's start on doing the braids and see what the final product is. Okay, so I've unbraided the entire thing now, but um, you need to get it nice and fluffy again, but I don't want to actually brush it. So this side is part I've already done. I didn't want to actually brush it because I didn't want to risk losing any of this really lovely texture that the braids have given it. But if you look at the difference, so this is without having done anything to it. If you do nothing, you do get these big sort of like just clumps and it sits a bit funny. So instead of actually brushing it, I'm just gonna run my fingers through it 
and then start to blend together the hair by doing that. So you can see it starts to actually become sort of one piece again rather than just sitting in these little tentacly clumps. So sort of do it from all angles and just get the hair to join up back together so it's one nice fluffy piece. See I'm literally just like snatching up, <laughs> snatching the wig, but I am just kind of like clawing out the fluff and it's puffing up nicely. There we go. So I am super, super happy with the texture of all this. I think it is really, really pretty. So now I'm just gonna quickly sort of half put this on my head to see what kind of shape we have and see what I need to do from there. Okay, it has been a difficult process. I just, the problem I was having with this wig was no matter how cute I got it looking on the mannequin, like I'd you know, be on the mannequin and it would look perfect. It would look so cute, absolutely beautiful. And then put it on my head and it just looked absolutely ridiculous. I think it's between my head being bigger than the mannequin head and all my hair making my head even bigger. But I think, I think, sorry, I just ran up the stairs. Oh, but I think I am happy with the way I currently have it. So um, I've tried it on by just like tying my hair in a ponytail out the back and it looked cute. So now the final test is to see if I can actually get all my hair underneath it and see if it still looks cute. So that is what we need to do. And this is the final results. My head definitely looks a bit huge, but I think I can probably live with that. I mean, I tend to go for massive hair anyway, so I haven't glued this down or anything, but even without glue, it sits okay. So, I don't know. It's my first time. I think I did okay. I could probably do better in the future, but this is what I've come up with. So that concludes my very first wig transformation. Um, I'm afraid to ask you <laughs> how you think I did, honestly, if anyone out there is like big into their wigs, because I'm sure it's not great, but I think it looks, ooh, I think it looks kind of cute, so I am hopefully going to use this in the next couple of days to do a fun transformation video. Uh, hopefully I can get that done and I haven't just lied to you, but yes, that is it for this video. So remember to check the links below, I will have one for the website where I got this wig, of course, so if you're looking to get yourself a nice, good quality wig, either to wear it as it is or experiment like I did, then you can check out uni wigs. Remember to leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing that because I would love to have you as part of the family, and make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos. And finally, if you could check out my Patreon before you go and consider joining, I would love that so much because it really, really supports this channel. So thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. You are the absolute best. So I will see you in the next video.
Bye, lovelies.